That's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. Check this one out. Probably do a starting engine when hot. Yep. Throttle closed. Master switch on. Electric fuel pump on. Mixture fuel rich. Okay. Not the ace hardware, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Clear! Oh, one, two, three. There you go. I'm trying to crack it a little bit right there. Land clear. Georgetown ground, RV 246 Hotel November. And by RV 246 Hotel November, Georgetown ground. Yes, sir, I went to fuel pump with uniform taxi for departure westbound. Alrighty. 246 Hotel Ready. Charlie, Roger, runway Ready. 29, taxi Ready. via the ramp uh, and the Fox Drive. Taxi via the ramp and the Fox Drive, runway 296 Hotel November. Well, before we move, though, we have to get what first? Gotta get clearance to uh, get right. a run out. We didn't have to call. That's right. Yeah. We didn't have to call Georgetown Ground. But before we call Georgetown Ground, what other frequency might we want to listen oh, to? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So one one eight point six. Georgetown information uniform two zero five five Zulu. Wind two six zero one one. Visibility one zero. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature two nine. 2.11, altimeter 2968. Visual approach in use, right departing runway 29. Bird advisor is in effect. Advise on issue contact, you have uniform. Information uniform, and I believe it was 29.68. Georgetown information uniform, 2055 Zulu. Wind 26011. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 1 2000. Temperature 29, 2.11. Altimeter 29. As long as you got all, all this information you need from him, I'm good. Our uh, winds are 26 at 1 1. Okay. We're departing runway 29. Okay. And we have information uniform. Perfect. Okay. All right. And ground is 119.125. Uh huh. So we're, we're on ground right now. So when we call him, what are we going to say? We're going to say Georgetown ground, Archer, Fort. Three nine or five four at pilot edge. Pilot's Depart choice. Pilot edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just flying too much with that. Know, at, pilot's, right? <laughs> at pilot's choice, departing with uh, or information uniform, departing to the east. Uh -huh. And then run up required. But oh, because up. we're not taking off a one eight, there's a designated spot over there for us to do our run up. So in this case today, we can omit a saying with run up required. Okay. So we can say everything but the run up required. So, yep, absolutely. Georgetown Ground Roger 941 Golf is a Compass Rose ready to taxi. 941 Golf, Roger, hold short runway 200. Uh, and Mike, and contact tower. We'll hold short runway 29 and contact tower. Thank you. Georgetown ground, Archer 439054 at pilot's choice, Depart, uh, departing to the east with information uniform. 439054, roger, you require a run-up. Uh, yeah, run-up required. 954, roger, you taxi, uh, taxiway Charlie, heavy Alpha 1, and do your run-up. All right, Charlie, taxi via Alpha 1 to do run-up, 439054. Interesting, so are we not taking off runway 29 now? Okay, that's new, okay, well, oh well. All right, 
Parker brake is off. That off? I hope so. Like it's on. Uh, yeah, it was on. All right, now we're good. All right. All right, we shall give it a little gas. There we go. That's good right there. And then go ahead and do a brake check. Make sure your brakes work. All right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Let me try uh, my brakes. All righty. Very good. And we'll just go here. Alpha 1 to Charlie. Charlie is that way, right? Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe they switched runways. Yeah, right where he's huh. running. Okay. Interesting. Normally they don't. Well, oh, look at that guy. Yeah. They can do that? Yeah. You get um, special requests or permission to do it, absolutely. Um. Let's see, who was in the Tomahawk? Oh, that's uh, Michelle and my other student. Alrighty. I don't know why he pointed that way, but we'll go ahead and turn this way. You see where that windsock is? Yep. Oh, uh, it looks like it's right here, so we're we're pretty much lined up. So we'll go up a little closer. I promise we won't hit them. And right there. Okay, okay. we'll park it right here. That's the. Uh, off of we can do it right now. Or we can do it whenever we check the engine instrument or the uh, excuse okay. me the flight instruments. All right. Yeah. That's Right. on ground, 6048 Zulu at the pumps for Genesis. So, 6048 Zulu, ground, Zulu on ground, you can taxi park in via Echo Alpha Juliet Cross or runway 18. Echo Alpha Juliet yeah. Cross 186048 Zulu. Throttle to 2000. So we're doing the before takeoff, right? Nope, we're doing the uh, ground check. Three. So ground check and then the oh, before yeah, takeoff yeah. checklist, uh-huh. Georgetown ground, Tomahawk 2446 November at Charlie, run up complete. 2446 November, Roger, runway 29, taxi via Alpha and Fox Trap. There you go. Taxi via Alpha and Fox Trap, Tomahawk 2446 November. Alright, good track drop, so we'll go back to both, and then the other one, and then back to both. Alright. And vacuum the five. Five, uh huh. Oil temperature. Where's the oil temperature? Yeah, we're on the green. Okay. More pressure. Oh, another left. Uh -huh. Okay. Green. Ventilator panel. There's a crowd. One sec, two five one. Bravo, Papa. Clear the active. Going to Area 51. Two five one. Bravo, Papa. Do us down the ground. Roger. Hold, hold your position. Right, Observation traffic. Taxiing inbound to Genesis. Okay. Hold position. One Bravo, Papa. And bring this back. So what we want to do, we want to bring it all the way back to where we want it to die. Yeah. And then if it doesn't die, we want to say it's alive and bring it back up to a thousand. Alive. All right, so we'll, yeah, perfect. Good. Now we can do a before takeoff checklist. Fun. Good instrument. Problem over here. Uh, oh, what is that, about actually, a 295 or so? 295? Yeah. We're taking off with 2-9, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, because the Tomahawks. We'll just do all of our business here, that's fine. Selectors on the... Okay, so they were both full because we got I got done and I filled it up. So for here, I'm just going to press function, clear out the last person's flight time, and then that's ours. So whenever the wheels come off the ground, that time starts. Okay. On. Okay. Carb heat off. Timer's locked. In the horizontal position. Get your feet on the brake. Yep, yeah, my feet are on the brakes. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And seat locked. Secured. Seat back. Two five one, bro. Bubba. 
He tags the parking via Juliet Cross 18 and Fox right off. Hey, Juliet Cross 18, the parking lot brought up. Thank you. Ground is set. Already checked that. Controls. It's a pretty airplane. Thank you. Uh, ground 8822 Juliet in uh, parking beneath the tower. Taxi for takeoff. Ready, 22 Juliet, George on ground, runway 29er, and taxi with the ramp, Fox Trump. Fox Trump, 29, 22 Juliet. Put on altitude. Perfect. Alrighty. I'll take that from you. And now we'll just. George on uh, ground, Skyhawk we'll 1 evening with the ground that we're uh, running complete at Charlie, the pump. And then he'll give us taxi instructions. 1 8 Lima Whiskey, Georgetown Ground, you taxi pumps to your Juliet Alpha Echo, cross runway 1 8. Juliet Alpha Echo, cross 1 8. Um, 8 Lima Whiskey. Georgetown Ground, Archer 43954, at Charlie, run up complete. Archer 43954, runway 29, taxi via Alpha Foxtrot. Runway 29, via Alpha Foxtrot, 43954. Okay, so Alpha's right in front of us, so we'll go that way, Fox Trot's that way, so we'll just... We're back with information in the form of the taxi flight spot departure. Okay, was that 430 Quebec or 430 Kilo? 4308 Kilo. 4308 Kilo, runner, uh, runway 29, you can taxi... Uh, if you'd like to do a run-up at Charlie, you can stop at the Charlie via Alpha 1. We'll go to Charlie 08 Quebec. Zero eight. Zero eight kilo. Zero eight kilo. She must be Thank used you. to saying uh, zero eight Quebec. <laughs> Alrighty. Julia's yeah, Julia's the next one, and then the one after that is Fox Trot. Fox Trot actually goes all the way down until uh, until we hit runway two nine. So we're good there. Oh, we haven't taken off runway 29 before. Oh, okay. So you can go to Foxtrot, right? Uh huh. Yep, so Foxtrot's pretty much at the very end. It doesn't go that way, but it does go that way. Okay. And we'll see how busy it is over here. Eh, not that busy. Yeah, but Oh yeah, it was. Here, put the microphone closer to your. I can, oh, it's there. Like, you go. Now you're right. All right, so we'll just go all the way down on this yellow line, and it goes all the way to the hold short of uh, two nine. And then when we get ground, over there, we're holding short, Romeo, we'll switch it over to ground to tower, and then let them know we're holding short. I'm sorry, calling Georgetown Ground, sinking. 217 Romeo Whiskey. 217 Romeo Whiskey, Georgetown Ground, go ahead. 7 Romeo Whiskey is at the pumps, and we'd like to taxi to the north hangars, please. 217 Romeo Whiskey, right? You can taxi to parking via Alpha 1. Alpha 1, 7 Romeo Whiskey. All right, we can go ahead and switch it over to tower now. And we'll just scoot up a little, yeah, we can go a little closer. Alright, we'll just take his spot. 22 one Papa Traffic and Archer are taking a runway for departure. 2 one Traffic, uh, 2 one Papa Traffic in sight. Alrighty, we'll just call him up. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Georgetown Tower, Archer 439054, holding short, runway 29. Archer 439054, Georgetown Tower, hold short, runway 29, landing traffic. Holding short, runway 29, 439054. Okay. Perfect. Well, it looks like we're going to have a little crosswind on the takeoff as well. Then 
What's up? Grab that water for me, right? Yeah, quick. absolutely. I get a quick drink. Yeah, we got a little time. Those moonies are pretty economical. Georgetown Tower, Star Flight 1. Star Flight 1, Georgetown Tower. Star Flight 1, one head to the north, 1,500 southbound. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, just get the eastern edge of your airspace. Star Flight 1, Roger, transition approved. The altimeter 296. Well, I wonder if that's it. Have you seen it before? Yeah, I think that's it. I forget one. the color. It could uh, be it. Nine five four, say departure direction. East. Departing to the east. Nine five four. Or nine five four, make a right turn out to the east. Uh, runway two nine are clear for takeoff. Making a right turn out to the east. Runway two nine nine five four. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Nine five four. Clear for takeoff. Nine five four. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> So we'll have our heels on the floor now because we don't need any brakes. And we shall go. All right, airspeed's alive. Five hundred feet AGL or thirteen hundred MSL will turn to the right and proceed on course to the east. But we might make a wide turn. Because I don't wanna if we turn directly east, I think we'd cross over the airport. Georgetown Tower, Mini 982 on Papa, downwind. Mini 982 on Papa, runway two nine or clear touch and go. Clear touch and go to one Papa. November 2 2 Juliet. All right, to change 1300. Group. We'll go ahead and turn to the east. 2 2 Juliet with a switch. We'll see you later. No, Tom Hawk 4 6 November. Frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Tom Hawk 4 6 November. Altitude we're going to go to today is uh, we'll go up to 3,500. Yeah, 3,500. That sounds good. died down here. I don't hear hardly anybody. Yeah. Coming out in front of us. But yeah, yeah that's fine. Well, I just remember, you know, that's what you're actually tracking, and that's what uh, that's what direction we're going to. I mean, because the wind's pushing us and everything. Yeah. Kind of like at, a, at an angle. That means we're just flying sideways a little bit. Yeah. I'm all right with that. Almost 2,500, about 1,100 feet or so to go right now. Need some of that 
trim. Get it out. Here we go. All right. We're not getting great as as great climb performance with the being this warm now. Yeah. We're not a rocket ship anymore. I noticed that. <laughs> Definitely climbing a lot yeah. slower. Oh shoot, think of like in the, the summertime thing. You'll get be you'll be lucky if you get exactly five hundred <coughs> feet per minute. What range is that? It doesn't say, does it? Uh ten nautical miles. Oh ten. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. well, he's about five from us. Yeah, and then if I go to traffic he's he's about Call number four three nine or five four, uh tower. Go ahead for 954. Number 954, we have traffic here at 12 o'clock in uh, about three, three and a half miles, indicating 3,500 maneuvering type unknown. Okay, uh, we're looking for that traffic for 954. Turn right. Yeah, we can turn right just a little bit. Because look, he, it looks like he's trending. Warrior 4308 Kilo, holding short of the right Warrior 4308 Kilo, George Sean Right turn out to the east, runway 29er, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 29, right turn out to the east, 8 kilo. Traffic inside for 954, no factor. No, we're 954, Roger. Alrighty. And uh, let's, I'll tell you what, um, how about a heading of 060? one for you to change proof. We'll just keep a uh, visual separation from them right now. And then we're uh, almost at our desired... Pinot over 852 Papa George on Tower, continue for runway 29. Report to final approach 6 to be number 2 for landing following the moon. He just entered the right downwind. Be number 2, report to final approach 6, 52 Papa. George on Tower, runway 821 Papa, downwind. 821 Papa, runway 29. Clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 21 Papa. Because with a decrease of power, I don't want to go down. So, first things first, what's the, well, what's the very first thing we do before we start a maneuver? Do a gumps check. Well, yeah, we can do a gumps check, that's fine. Uh, gumps check, and then what's after a gumps check? Do a clearing turn. Absolutely. Alrighty, let's do it to it. So, gumps check first? Okay. Uh, either or. Normally, I do clearing turns, but it, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Either or. Clearing turn. That's, that's fine, either or. Alright, so I'm going to clear to the left. Traffic above and below us. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and clear to the right. Okay. Sounds good. So, steam turns, let's uh, give it just a little bit more power, some pepper. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's, you, you see that lake over there? Yeah. Lake Granger? Um, or actually, 
Well, we could do either or. We could do, let's let's use that lake because I know there's a guy over here I don't want to run okay. into him. Yeah, let's head to Lake Belton or, no, oh, that's still House Lake. Let's head that way. Two, one, five, we can stand up in one mile and make right track. Give the number uh, two to four, pick a visual uh, reference for uh, Cherokee on a four mile final. Uh, two one five hook, stand up in one mile and uh, right traffic for two. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So from here, I want to kind of increase that power a little bit, just a yep. little bit more. About twenty four hundred RPMs or so. Perfect. Perfect. Now remember, I'll let you do it to the left first. Remember, at your thirty degree, one full thing of uh, right. trim, and then at the forty five, one or two trims, up to you. So here we go. So left turn, left rudder, maybe just a little bit, you know, not much. There's right. 30, and getting to the 45, and we're just going to try to maintain 3,500 as best as we can. All right, so we're kind of descending. What should we do? Yeah, shallow out that turn a little bit, just a little bit. We have some leniency on these maneuvers. All right, got it back, so now let's go ahead and shout, or steepen it up again. Steepen up that turn for 45 degree bank angle. Nope. There you go. Okay, steepen, yep. And we want to try to put that cowling on the horizon. We're just trying to slice through. So we're just picking a point on the cowling and just going okay. all the way through around it. And instead of rolling out on the leg, I want you to do another turn around it. Okay. This is looking good, by the way. And notice how the trim, it's, it's really easy yep. now that you have it trimmed out properly. Our altitude is spot on. I don't see the, the nose moving up and down much. We're just slicing through the horizon. This looks good. Maintaining altitude, airspeed, 45 degree bank angle. I'm loving it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what happened? You caught, you caught up with your wake. There's the there's our lake. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep turning. All right, there's our lake. Go ahead and roll out for me. Remember with that rudder, there you go. Yeah. All right, then we can transition to a turn to the, the right. Whoops, we're in a climb. There you yeah. go, kind of push it down a little bit. Get it back yeah. there on our cowling. Looking good, looking good. Steepen up that turn for me a little bit more. We're only at like 35 or so. Steepen it just a little bit more for me. There you go, excellent. All right, this is looking good. And I want you to keep going around it. Staying at 3,500, looking outside, keeping the same position on the- Tower, uh, 9821, Papa, midfield, downwind, request stop. Man, this is your, looking uh, good. Traffic is just about over the numbers. Number two, runway 18, uh, actually runway really 29, clear to land. Clear to land number two, traffic inside, but number 8, yeah, Absolutely, if we started to descend, just shallow out that turn a little bit. Yep. Alrighty, getting it back. There's our leg, and once we get at our leg, we're going to roll out, wings level. All right, get rid of that trim, push that nose down. There you go. Absolutely. Awesome. And then we're going to pull that throttle back to normal cruise. Have a good day. Good day. Beautiful. That was awesome. That was really, really good. I like that. Thank you. All righty. Um, Hey, which way is the wind blowing right now when we left? Towards Tower, number 882222. Back with you. 11. 260, okay. You mind if I, I'm going to just put the wind on there? Yeah, that's cool. I think there's a reason. I'm sorry, back with me, say again. Sorry, sir, wrong frequency. Right All righty, you lost an engine. What are you going to do? I am going to be ABA. Okay, you might want to use some of that trim to help you. Looking for what airspeed? 76. Okay. Georgetown Tower, 882 Juliet, back with you. 
Juliet, All right. uh, Georgetown. I went to where you land. Navigate. There we go. It's a PA-28. Uh, go ahead and uh, squawk. You want to go into the wind? So, one zero. So we need to find something behind us. Okay. Zero six one two zero number two two Juliet and uh, we are from the Vikings and uh, about ten miles to the southwest about my nickel stop. Roger, taking him tight there. The Lock of Vikings. Well, we're Roger. landing. We are landing. That looks like a good field. Big field down okay. there. I like it. That's pretty yeah, nice. Blanca, 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 Car stick right. that on, simulated a course. Um, All right, so it didn't restart. Didn't restart, so now I'm going to communicate. Okay. Georgetown Tower, Mayday, or Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Uh, we're going to land in the field, call you when we're on the ground. Okay. 7700 squawk. Okay. Somebody now I'm going to start to shut down. Okay. Shut down to right to left. Okay. And I'm going to start to shut down. I'm going to shut down avionics. Shut down, but the left base Turn the tanks off. Okay. Okay. Now everything's off. Now I'm gonna land. All right. And what else on the landing phase? The landing phase. Oh. Um. Yeah. Unlatch I forgot about that. Cause I don't simulate that. Anymore. Yeah. Right. Uh. Yeah. I need to unlatch that door and open it. Okay. Do you think we need any flaps? Um. No. Well, yeah, because we're coming in kind of hard right now. Okay. Traffic not available. So I would have to add some flaps. Okay. All right, your engine came back alive. Right. So you're going to cram. So we, I crammed, I'm sorry. Uh, climb just to the horizon and then clean once we have a positive clean. rate. And then yep. we would call and then we just say, um, you know, Georgetown Tower, uh, 954, our engine came back on. We're able to maintain uh, airspeed and altitude, but we're still going to come back to the uh, airport as a precaution. So just something like that. Yep. Alrighty, let's do it again. So we'll climb back up to uh, 3,500, okay? Alrighty, not bad. So the more we do it, the faster we'll get at it. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a lot. You know, in a short amount of time, in yeah. a very stressed amount of time. Yeah. I wasn't near as stressed as I would be <laughs> if it was real. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, well, me too. Now, what happens if you would lose an engine, like, or, like, less than a thousand feet below the ground? Like I said, there's just some things I'm not going to do. I'm probably not going to communicate, um, and I'm not going to uh, do anything. Pretty much, just... Just, yeah, just pretty much just red. land, yeah. Okay. Ready for zero five Mike George Shanko. You, you can't turn around at that point. Uh, exactly. East, southeast for right traffic runway two nine er. We'll report uh, to the east for right traffic uh, for runway two nine er zero five Mike. All right, Patrick. Let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's turn heading zero three zero to the left or the right. Your choice. Okay. Climb performance definitely is suffering today. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine what it's going to be like this summer. <laughs> oh. Just get ready. And think about, uh, think about if it, I'm in a tomahawk, those things, man, those things hardly have any power. In the hot summer, man. Uh, 2 Juliet, say again. 
it was just last year I had it. One day it was like 150 foot. Uh, runway 29, clear to land. I was just like, oh, clear to land. Two nine, two to Juliet. Yeah, I have no desire to fly that plane. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's just too small for me. Georgetown Tower, Skyhawk 1 8 Lima Whiskey, holding short runway 29. Skyhawk 1 8 Lima Whiskey, Georgetown Tower, hold short runway 29, you're landing traffic. Holding short, uh, 8 Lima Whiskey. Alrighty, looks like you just lost an engine. Alright, okay, I am going to pitch for 76. Okay. All right, so we're there. Now okay. what? Now I'm going to uh, navigate, find a field. I know my wind's behind me, so I need to turn. Well, maybe there's something that r is right there that we can set up for a downwind base final. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, I see a, a field yeah, and we're down not, there, but... Well, I mean, we're not going to be on the other side of the power lines. You see this brown field right here with the pros? Yeah, we can literally go straight. Base and then final where we're pointing that way. Yep, so that's where I'm going to go. Okay. And that field there. I like it. Um, I'm going to uh, right turn out of bridge to the east runway 29 clear for takeoff. Switch for takeoff. I'm going to switch my tank. Okay. I'm going to make sure my mixture is up. Okay. Fuel pump's on. Um, I am going to cram. I'm going to uh, check. Check the uh, primer. Okay, just make sure it's in and launch. Could it come loose? Yep. Yeah, it might be some carb of carb carb icing. Absolutely. And right. uh, now I've checked everything. I've tried to start it. It's not starting. So okay. I am going to call uh, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. We're landing in the field, Georgetown Tower. Clear to land. Runway 29. How many miles away are we? We are. Clear to land. Runway 29. Approximately 10 miles. 12 miles, yeah. maybe. Yeah. And uh, we're going to Squawk 7700. Now I'm going to start shutting down. So I'm going to shut down from right to left. Uh, avionics first, fuel pump, uh, cram all this down, master switch, key off, tank off. Okay. And then now I am going to land. Alrighty. And what else on the land? Oh, we're going to open the door okay. over here. And then if you had passengers, you would just brief them. I would them. brief them, yeah. Alrighty, so flaps at your discretion. Okay. You might need flaps now, you might need them later, who knows? Who knows? Um, I'm aiming for that field okay. right there next to the water, it's kind of long. Sure. Looks like a good field. Um, I want to make sure I make the field, so actually right now I'm going to keep the flaps off. Okay, we'll see what happens. At 1500. Definitely don't want to hit those trees. Uh, definitely not. Okay. Traffic not available. Alrighty, your engine came back on. Eee. So what do we do? We cram, cram. climb, just climb. to the horizon. Remember that trim, you might get in a trim stall. We don't want that to happen, yeah. so we push it. There you go. Positive rate, and another positive rate. We'll get rid of that last notch of flaps. All right, and we'll climb up to uh, 1800. Very good. Very, very good. Just saying that, or was it good? Oh, it was good. Oh, no, it was. We made our field, didn't we? Well, yeah. we might have been a little fast, but I would have grabbed another, another, uh, another, uh, Notch of flaps. Yeah, we still, yeah, we have that, that another notch, of th that third notch of flaps, because when we put that in, we sink like a rock. Right. And we, uh, we would definitely slow down significantly. All right, uh, almost at 1800. Okay. All right. Mike, turn right there to uh, taxiway Kilo, contact ground 119 or 12. Right, thank you. Perfect. ground. All right, Patrick. You see, uh, there's like a, there's this tan field with that pond in the middle of it. Yep. Right next to it, there's a brown field. You see it? Right to the, the right of it. And then there's like a green yeah. field. Yeah. That, that uh, green field, I know it's like green, gray, green. Yep. Let's, we're gonna do what's called rectangle patterns. Okay. Before we do this ground reference maneuver, we have to enter 
on the downwind, and right now we're on the upwind. So, but this is okay though because we can go straight out right, and do a 180 degree clearing turn. That's going to be considered our clearing turn, and we're automatically getting set up for the downwind. We'll do a gumps check, and then we'll start the maneuver. And I'm going to show you how to do the first one, and then after that, uh, you'll do it. Okay. So we'll just go out here a little ways. The trim better. Yeah. Okay. Did you read up on uh, rectangle patterns or the ground reference maneuvers? Yeah, we did some bit? of those last time. Okay, okay. Yeah, I thought those were pretty good last time. We're just going to do a little bit, and then we're going to... Might have a little, another trick up my sleeve. Huh. Okay. Uh, that's good enough. We can go ahead and do a 180 degree turn. Alright. This will be considered our clearing turn. I think it was a little bit, you see that green one where green, gray, green? It was that, this one right oh, here. Okay. Yeah, that's, so come a little bit, kind of this way, so we kind of yeah. get a nice angle, then we can straighten it back up and parallel okay, it. Okay, so it's this whole big thing here, right? But this, well, oh, it's more of the smaller the, one, yeah. Smaller one. All we're going to do is, is <laughs> just uh, do uh, rectangle patterns. Remember, the wind is coming from kind of caddy, cordy, caddy corner behind you, so now we can turn a little bit this way and we'll parallel it. There we go. All right. And then do a quick gumps check. Yeah. Where are we at on time? Ah, we got five minutes. minutes. We're good. Yeah. Um, and Georgetown Tower now. Navajo 8131 16 to the west. Uh, uh, Navajo 8131 Georgetown Tower. Right. Dixon Indian Bound for the midfield left down. Nice rectangle shape around. That hey, green field, right? Yes. Farm, a little farm there with the horses? Yes. Okay. Don't need to be going so fast, right? But I need help. Well, I mean, we could go like, you know, 90 knots or so. I wait till. You're about a 45. Yeah, uh huh. But just remember though, the wind's kind of coming from behind you, it's going to, this is our fastest ground speed right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're not as strong as they were the other day when we might have did it, but eh, still, at least there's some kind of wind out there. I crab into it. Just I didn't realize bit. how much power lines there were around here. I know. Maybe, well, maybe this wouldn't uh, I'll tell you what. Oh, I see something, something better. Let's, let's, let's do a 180 degree turn. All right. I yeah. got a, I got another idea. I don't like the theory either. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking, I see big ones there and I'm like, wait a minute, then there's some right here. And we're kind of yeah. right in between that fine line. What I want to do is try to get a little bit closer Tower, to the other side Mike Whiskey uh, holding these the power lines. Tonight. Okay. Chester 716, Mike Whiskey, Georgetown Tower. East departure pre with a right turnout. Runway 29 okay, for takeoff. Let's start with so for takeoff, runway two, nine, turns one, around a point. point. We'll go from there. If you can do turns around a point, you can do rectangle patterns. Okay. So essentially right now we are on the downwind because look where our wind's at. So yep. we're set up. So what we can do, I'm going to pull this power back a little bit for you. Nice cruise power setting. Um, we can look for anything in front of us, whether it be a little pond, a house, a farm, a cluster of houses, or uh, silos, or anything like that. Maybe we can do turns around a point on that. Okay. See anything in front of us, or to the left or the right of us? I don't see my base all filled for you. Ah, uh, that's right. Um, but, yeah, I see this little grass area down here that... Okay. Has hay bales in it. Okay. I'm good with that. All right, so we will just uh, go around that. How slow are we supposed to be going? Uh, go about, ah, uh, this is fun right here. Yeah, that's fine.
Yeah, that's a good power setting. Nope, watch your altitude. So just remember that that wind's kind of it's it's not as strong as we think. So maybe our steepest turn might be only 10 degrees of bank versus 40 degrees what we think we should be at. All right, so we need to shallow it out now that the wind's coming at our face. Yep. We're still going to be turning, but we're only going to—it's only going to be a, just a shallow turn, just a baby turn. All right. So our slowest ground speed because the wind is coming right at us now. Traffic not available. Alrighty. Come on, turn around it. There we go, we did one rotation. So roll wings level. Okay. Let's go out a little bit further. I want to pick another point. I see a tower right there and a tower right there. We'll just go a little bit behind it. We'll find another point. As a matter of fact. I see a little cluster of things up there. That would be a good uh, reference point on the ground. There's now tower. There's one, two, three, two, go. Uh, There's our 18. Two, nine, one, two, three, two, go. Georgetown Tower, runway There's one eight. Tower, Correction, so. runway two, nine, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on two, nine. Uh, one, two, three, two, go. And I'll tell you what, since we're going to do another one, zero eight zero I see, uh, so we're almost in 30 minutes. I don't like to say, sure. let's go ahead and switch fuel tanks. We'll verify that that fuel pump is on. Pump is on. And we'll switch it from right to left tank. All right. Left. Perfect. 4430 kilo, Georgetown Terror, Squawk 0622. Yeah, I can definitely tell the wind is from behind us. 105 and only... You see uh, whatever that red, those red barns are right there? Oh, yeah. Let's turn around now. Yeah. Yeah. There's good to the uh, east. Well, 1,300 inbound for the low figures with uh, Victor. Yeah, helicopter 199er, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Georgetown Tower, Roger, continue inbound for the uh, source hangars, report two miles to the east, the uh, wind 260 at 1-1. One, one. Report two miles to the east, uh, 9 Fox Fox. Wind 0 kilo, continue inbound for uh, landing, uh, right base entry there, runway 2-9er, and uh, runway 2-9er, clear to land. Now remember, the, the wind's and probably not as strong as you think it's going to be a steep turn, but yeah. It's, well, it's going to be the steepest turn we have, but it might be not as steep as we expect it to be. Okay. And tower 1232 two, Golf, uh, request a right turn to the east. Tower 32 Golf, uh, right turn not approved uh, to the east. Traffic entering uh, from the uh, northeast uh, Turkey, currently 1,700. All right, right turn out to the east approved, and we'll be looking out for traffic. Skyhawk 1232 two, Golf. Cessna 717, make back to Georgetown Tower, coming in for full stop with Victor. Now it's definitely pushing you sideways, so there we go. Very nice. Cessna 7 8 Quebec, Georgetown Tower. Uh, say type Cessna. Cessna 172, and I'm about 10 miles to the northeast, coming in for full stop. Hello, 831, uh, or 8131, uh, turn right at the end, contact okay, ground 119 or 12. We'll shallow it out because we have a direct headwind. We're still going to be turning just... Cessna 7 8 Quebec, squawk 0627. There you go. 0627. Just a little bit of traffic to help. Helicopter 9, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, traffic 12 to uh, 1 o'clock and uh, 2 miles at Cherokee. Out of 1,800 right base there for uh, run landing runway 2-9er. Uh, 9, Fox, Fox, we have that Cherokee. That won't be too visual. 
Uh, November 9, Fox Shot, Fox Shot, Roger, thank you. Now, what is there any kilo traffic uh, about left to being there? And, uh, traffic uh, not available. 10 o'clock and a mile and a half, so helicopter low level, indicating 1,800 has Very inside nice. for landing here at the uh, How about one more turn around it? Okay. November 7, 8, Quebec, continue yeah. inbound, 4 or 5 miles northeast for landing runway 29. How will your approach terminate? Full stop, 7, 8, Quebec. 7, 8, Quebec, right. Cessna 32 Gulf at Cherokee traffic here about 12 to 1 o'clock down a mile and a half, 1,800. Should be no factor for you. Uh, well, it's traffic, uh, traffic in sight, Skyhawk 32 Gulf. Skyhawk 32 Gulf, right. Seven eight Quebec, you said right base for 29. Remember, 7 8 Quebec, um, you can plan a right base entry there for runway 29 or 4 or 5 miles northeast, 7 8 Quebec. Roger, 7 8 Quebec. George Town Tower helicopter, 9 Fox Fox, 2 miles for the source hangar. Helicopter 9 or Fox Shot, Fox Shot, uh, source hangers, uh, landing at source hangers will be at your own risk. The uh, wind 260 is 9er. Fox Fox. Where are you going to land? Land. Uh, the field straight ahead. Uh, I see a tower right straight ahead. Oh, yeah. See that field right there? Oh, yeah, I'd yeah. say forget it. I'm just landing. I would start dumping my flaps, killing everything. That's it. Traffic not available. I'm gonna check everything. Right from left to right. Now you can skip out on that. I wouldn't do an investigation. I would just shut down. Oh, at this point, yeah. Oh yeah, so you're, you're so low level. The good news is, is you, yes, it's a green field, uh, but it still works. I've got another dry field there. I've got a field here that if I had to do S turns, I could do something like that. Okay. I'm gonna give you power. We're gonna go around. So we cram, we climb to just to the horizon, and then positive ready to climb, one notch of flaps. All right. Did you know I was going to do that, little level? Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, I started going through the whole thing, and I'm like, wait, we don't have that much time. Yeah, yeah, we got to we gotta kind of skip out on some things. Uh, I say mayday, mayday as I'm coming in and landing. Yeah, right? <laughs> ah, no. I wouldn't even make a call. I, I guarantee you some kind of farmer is going to be pissed off and he'll probably call the sheriff's department <laughs> before you can even uh, get to your phone. Hopefully he's pissed off because we're alive and not dead. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, that or we probably destroyed his corn crop. Insurance would cover that though, right? I sure hope he has insurance. Oh, he? <laughs> well, the farmer. Oh. I'm, sure, if, I'm sure they With have. the pilots? Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know, I don't know how that works. Yeah. So Personally, I sure hope I don't have to know. But yeah, exactly. Oh, no, we lost another low, low level. We have to worry about it, right? All right, lost another engine. All right. I'm gonna pitch for. Uh, Roger. Seventy-six. All right. Where are you gonna land? Going to land. That brownfield, right? Well, there's trees there. I'm going to land in this brown field right down here. Okay. I do like a short final. Okay. I'm going to start shutting everything down. Okay. I'm going to open that door. Okay. I'm going to come down this way and kind of into the wind right now. So it's yeah. Sometimes. I wouldn't even land into the wind if I was at low level and I had to make a decision because if I turned around to my only possible field, I might not make it. Yeah, so I would have swung out wider. Yeah, and that, yeah, because I mean we still have plenty of altitude. I think we would have made it. I'm going to give you your power back. So we climb. Just to the right. Positive rate. Traffic not available. Alrighty, and climb back up to 2,500 and give me a right hand turn heading 270 this time, okay? Very good. The ground reference maneuvers were fine. It turns around a point. I was just trying to get you distracted enough where we can do the okay. emergencies. I'm, I'm real big on uh, emergency stuff. Uh, I think it's good. I want to be safe. You know? Oh yeah, absolutely. And alive, and keep everyone alive. And you ever notice when you read the, the recordings that the pilots, they just sound calm. It's because we train them, and we train right. them more, and we train them some more. Yep. And they're, they're, they're relaxed, they're chill. You look at Sully, 
Yeah, exactly. That was amazing. Oh, right? yeah. All right, got about uh, 800 feet to go, up to 2,500. So we already switched tanks, we're good. All right. It's a little choppy up here. Yeah. Just around a little. Oh, yeah. I'm just curious to see how the, uh, the landings will do, because I know it, it was a little bumpy when I was coming out of my last flight. Clear to go for 29, here we go. Tell you what, let's uh, let's see if we can get a couple touch and goes in today. Okay. Do you have our aircraft advise the directional flight? Advise the contact. You have Victor. Victor this time. What about Victor? First on information, Victor. Two one five six Zulu. Wind two seven zero one zero. Visibility one zero. Got clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature 29, 2.11. Altimeter 2 9 6 9 Visual approach in use. Lane departing runway 2 9 Bird advisory is in effect. VFR aircraft advisor direct for flight. Okay, Juliet. Advisor contact, you have Victor. Okay. Runway 82 Juliet, George Shantara, short of runway 2 landing traffic. Victor, Victor, If GPS wasn't working, I would go to the lake and make a beeline directly west, right? And that's going to pretty much set me up uh, nicely for uh, Georgetown Airport. But you see that little? It yeah, looks like a pond out here. But it's a lake, Lake Georgetown. Let's yeah. go that. Let's go there, and I guarantee you we're going to hit. We're going to be able to at least see the uh, the uh, airport once we get a little bit closer. What altitude are you going to? Um, I'm a little high. Maybe pull some of that power out. Alrighty. Alright, so if you had to guess right now, how many miles away would you say we are? I'd say 10 from okay. here. Okay, I'll buy it. So let's, uh, let's give them a call and let's uh, tell them that we're about 10 miles to the east. Traffic, north, uh, there you go, sorry. Runway 2-9 or clear for takeoff. Right clear for takeoff from runway 2 9 8 8 2 Yeah, but today we're going to, instead of landing, say inbound for touch and goes. Okay. Georgetown Tower, Archer 439054, 10 miles to the east. With information, Victor, landing with touch and goes. Inbound for touch and goes landing, that's all right. Archer 439054, Georgetown Tower, Squawk 0626. Squawk 0626. Nine or five four. Perfect. So zero, six, two, and six. All right. All right. I bet you he'll, uh, I don't know. First 10 tower, Baron 36, Charlie Tango, visual two niner. I'm at eight and a half right to the southeast, 3,000. Right Baron 36, Charlie Tango, George Chantar, continue inbound for straight approach here. Lane runway two airport niner, airport expect airport clearance here at yeah. five miles. Just a little bit of the runway, but see the airport environment. So is that going to be a straight out? Uh, uh, it might. just depends on who's all in the pattern. Uh, tower might have another. Thing. What's or that? Wait, maybe another five miles. What's that? Can I start descending a little? Uh, I mean, we, we can. Uh, it's up to you. I mean, we still have a ways to go. Yeah. I always like to keep this altitude, just in case, like, what happens if I lost an engine, you know. I like to do it when I'm just a little bit closer. And, of course, the higher I am, the further I can see. Right. 
Is there a kilo of traffic to follow Cess 172 inside a uh, quarter mile final now, runway 29er, number two, cleared, touch and go. Traffic inside, cleared for uh, landing runway 29. 80. And uh, do you like to make this stop? Is there a kilo? Understand full stop, Roger. That's it right over there, right? Uh huh. So let's turn a little bit more that Monitor way. Monitor 9 continue inbound for right base entry landing runway 29 or you'll be number two following up Baron on about a uh, eight mile final. So say right base looking for traffic. Or, uh, right base looking for traffic, 954. Over 954, just to verify you'll be entering the uh, touch and go pattern. Touch and go, 954. Alrighty. November 22 Juliet, when able, squad VFR. So we're just going to get into the base. Oh, sorry about that. VFR for 22 Juliet. A lot easier than us setting up. And November 22 Juliet, if you'd like, you can go up with a uh, gray approach on 134.35. Uh, gray approach 134.35. 22 Juliet, thank you. See ya. Here is see ya. the runway. I don't see it yet. I see the airport, but I don't yeah. see the runways just yet. Got to wait. November 78 Quebec, contact ground 119 or 12. 119 or point. One 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 nine or one two seven eight back. Uh, we'll see it here pretty shortly. Help that we're right into the sun. Yeah, I know, right? Lucky us. <laughs> Looks like they need to clean the windscreen. I haven't done a touch and go with you yet. No, we haven't. Or, no, but we're we're starting. And a Georgia Tower to 931 Golf. Go with Thomas Rose. Hold short of Georgia Tower. Archer 931 Golf. Georgia Tower. Hold short. Runway 29er. Hold short. 29er. Not Golf. Baron 36 Charlie Tango. Runway 29er. Clear to land. Clear to land. 29er. 36 Charlie Tango. Kilo Fable, turn right, taxiway, Kilo, contact ground 119 or 12. Right on Kilo, taxi ground, do it, Kilo. Archer 9 that barren traffic, just inside a five mile final now for uh, runway 29, report to traffic in sight. Looking for traffic, 9 November 931 Golf, uh, west departure yeah. approved to uh, Lano, yeah, runway 29, clear for takeoff. Yeah, clear for takeoff, west departure approved, 931 Golf. I tell you what, if you come just a little bit more over here, we'll be set up for a good base. So pretty much just the, uh, so we want 290 essentially right here. Right. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is good enough. That's fine. Yep, you have that airplane right there at sight. Right at your 12 o'clock. Put your 954 up there in truck, about your 11 o'clock uh, out of uh, 1,700. 954, traffic in sight, 954. Archer 954, number two, following the Baron, runway 29er, cleared, uh, touch and go. Traffic you're following is full stop. Clear, touch and go, second in line, 954. <laughs> so you would just say, number, number, number two, clear, touch and go, 954. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's not like That's all right. <laughs> yeah, rookie mistake. Okay. Yeah, I got a yeah, they, they, they have a they have a sense of humor here at least at the tower, so it's all right. All right, so we're set up right now for a uh, right base. Yep. So yep. we can always get ahead of the airplane though and do a quick gumps check. Okay. Yeah, full of things. Oh yeah, we're good. Carriage, mixture, um, pump is on. Okay. And Beautiful. All righty. So we are behind this guy, and he's a full stop. That means he's going to take more time on the runway than we are because we're a touch and go. Right. So I would elect to pull the power back just a little bit. We'll slow it down. See if we can slow it down to about 80 knots. So to slow down, we might want to pull that nose up. Absolutely. Well. Sir, Sun Tower, Sun Tower, Sun Tower, Mike, Whiskey is 10 miles east of the airport, request landing full stop. Maybe a little bit of trim, just a little bit of trim. Sun 716, Mike, Whiskey, George, Sun Tower, altimeter 2970. 
All right, see how we're on like a nice right angle, and then we'll be turning right here in a moment for the final leg. Test six, Mike Whiskey, Squawk zero six one one. And normally on Squawk the base, I would have one, two one, notches Mike of flaps Whiskey. already, but no, we're, we're so far away. Well, contact Austin departure. Yeah. Departure. We'll see you later. Not going to go. Go ahead and turn your final. All righty. Ten three six Charlie Tango, contact ground one one nine or one two. Calling ground six Charlie Tango. How tall are those towers there? Uh, they're not very tall either. Maybe hundred feet or less. So you're going to hear me say this throughout your training a thousand times. Pitch for speed, power for altitude. This couldn't be more true, especially when it comes to landings. So right now, are you too high or are you too low? I think so six mark right. whiskey, continue inbound for Australian right. first landing runway yeah. two nine or report uh, three mile five. And typically, the airspeed we want to see on finals is about whiskey. 70 knots. So pitch for speed, so we're fast, so we would just pitch up. There you go. And the spawn corrections. Once we get just a little closer, we'll put in that last notch of flaps. Now we're starting to get a little high, so I'd take some of that power out. Yeah. But go ahead and put in that last notch of flaps. Absolutely. Eh, you don't need any more trim. Pitch it for speed, power for altitude. If we're, too, if we're still too high, we'll take out some power. Less power. Less power, even less power. There you go. Now I just want you to glide it in at 70 knots. Pitch it for speed, power for altitude. All about small corrections. Looks like we have a little crosswind as well from the uh, from the left, but not by much. All right, runway's made, so let's go ahead and kill that power. All right, so. You're gonna round out right here, and I just want you to hold it. I just want you to hold it. Just hold what you got. Yeah, hold it, hold it. Yeehaw! All right, get rid of those flaps for me, all the way down. All right, full throttle, absolutely. There you go. Traffic right. not available. <laughs> Man, yeah, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. There you go. Georgetown Tower, come on, 2446 November, 7 miles to the east and down for a full stop. Just be careful on that trim. You don't want to get what, what's, like I said, into a, a, a trip stall, right? Because it wants to just naturally go up to the sky. Ah, oh, that was my first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did good. We go all the way up to the Turn 2446 November, Georgetown Tower, Squawk 0617. All right, so it's going to be a right pattern here. So it's Squawk 0617, uh, force to cover. Do I wait till I'm at 18 or? Ah, 1300, yeah. 500 feet AGL, we can turn our crosswind. No one's around our crosswind, we'll or turn our downwind. And he always likes us to report a midfield downwind, so. Okay, here in a moment. 90 degrees, perfect, good right angle. Come on, 46 November, you can make straight in approach, runway 29er. You'll be yeah, following the Cessna at uh, about your 9 to 10 right o'clock. And 1 mile, 2100. Okay, Cessna 2100. Straight in 29, we have the Cessna in sight for uh, 46 November. Come on, 46 November. What did I say? You're going to say Georgetown Tower, Archer 954, and build downwind for touch and go. Georgetown Tower, Archer 9354, mid build downwind for touch and go. All right, we're at a pad announced. Archer 954, can you make short approach in this path? Yeah, we can make short approach 954. 
Okay, Archer 954, Roger traffic assessed on a, about a four mile final. Uh, make short approach, runway 2 Niner, cleared touch and go. Clear, clear touch and go, 954. Clear touch and go, 954. So 6 Mike, right, number 2 for landing, following the PA 28 Archer on the downwind um, so, for, uh, right down for uh, runway 29. Number 2, uh, okay, runway 29, cleared land. Circle down, runway 29, follow Archer, 716 Mike Whiskey. Go ahead and start your, just a slow turn. Yeah, go ahead and get another notch of flaps. Another notch of flaps. Tomahawk 46, November is number three, following the Cessna, uh, runway 2 niner. I want you to this runway. Maybe I'll screw it. Number three behind the Cessna for 2 niner, 246 November. Oh, the engine came back on? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I just don't want to. No, we get, we're going to have it made. Don't worry about it. We'll have it made. Test six, Mike Whiskey, the archers on about a quarter mile right base to final now. Yeah, quarter mile. <laughs> Inside six, Mike Whiskey. Hey, I don't think we're going to have it made. We got full flaps, got a lot of sync, so yeah, this will be fine. Got our airspeed in there really close to 70, just like we like it. Absolutely. See how this worked out? All right, but I want you to round out about about 10 feet, 15 feet off the ground, 8 feet maybe. And I just want you to hold it. Just hold it. You know? Because we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to balloon. No. Just gentle. There you go. Get rid of those flaps. There we go. And just full throttle. There you go. We got it. Eh, it's pretty much a short approach. Touch and go. Learned a couple of things. Yeah. Traffic not available. And I do those in the Piper Cub all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> and the cell. Yeah, doing them real world though. All right. Very good. Yeah, when you kind of let go of the controls, I'm like, wait, what are you doing? You can do it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> I'm glad you trust me. Oh, yeah. All right, we're at 1300. Then we'll go ahead and do our right crosswind. All right, so pretty much the thing we're trying to get here with the traffic pattern is just square turns. We want it to be like we're trying to trace a rectangle, almost like we're trying to do rectangle patterns. So when you're making the radio call, instead of midfield downwind for touch and go, you say midfield down, midfield downwind for full stop. Torchstone Tower, Archer four three nine or five four, midfield downwind for full stop. Archer nine or five four, center downwind to follow a uh, tomahawk. About a mile and a half final report. The traffic inside is full stop. Looking for traffic nine five four and extended downwind. Oh, that's okay. Oops. But let's go ahead and pull some of that power. We can use our energy that we have to just pull up and get back and get to our 1800. So six Mike Whiskey, continue roll out to the right. end. Uh, if you'd like to go we'll to Genesis or uh, let we me know if you want to go to pumps. Genesis 716 Mike Whiskey. So six Mike Whiskey, continue roll out to the end, turn right at the end to Genesis, oh, monitor here. ground, have a good day. Thanks, Sheriff Paul Roll out to Genesis, uh, uh, monitor ground, 716 Mike Whiskey, have a good day. Oh, perfect. I don't know. Do you have that tomahawk right there inside? Right off our wingtip? Uh, Turn 954, the uh, tomahawk traffic passing right of being number two, runway one, correction, runway two nine, or clear to land. Clear to land, runway two nine, nine or five four. Okay. All right, Patrick, That's go ahead. Up. Go ahead, and I'm going to you pull this to about 1800 RPMs. And when you're on your base, I want you to give me one notch of flaps. And the airspeed I typically look for, now of course this is when there's no people in the pattern and we have some peace and quiet, is uh, 80 knots on downwind, 75 on base, and 70 knots on final. And then downwind, one notch of flaps, base, two notch, and then final, the last notch. 
Georgetown Tower, uh, Skyhawk 1232 Golf, it's 14 miles the to the north, uh, the northeast with information Victor inbound for landing. I think we're going to have it made. We're just pitching for speed and we're... Skyhawk 1232 Golf, Georgetown Tower, continue inbound, Squawk 0623. 0623 in the box, uh, 1232 Golf. Georgetown Tower, Plata 696, November Golf with you, visual 2-9. Plata 696, November Golf, Georgetown Tower, continue inbound for, uh, via the left base entry landing runway 2 9 expect clearance about five miles south. Roger, we're headed for the left base for 2 9 6, November Golf. Alright, let's put in... Turn off 4 six, November, turn right at the end, contact ground 1 one nine or one two. Turn right at the end, contact ground on, uh, ground on 1 one nine or point two two. One one nine or one two. One one nine or one two. Sorry about that. All right. We're getting a little slow, so we pitch down for our airspeed, and then it we kind of counteract it with that power as well. All right, this is looking good. Make it nice and smooth for the passengers in the back. Traffic not available. All right, once that runway's made, power all the way out. All right. Try to get just a little over. Don't, don't, don't do this. Just kind of just small corrections so we get a little closer. Pull, pull. Yeah, just like that. That's all we do. Let's see if we can get off a kilo. And then we just do this for aerodynamic braking, almost like we want to do a little wheelie. Oh yeah, I think we'll. I think. We'll turn nine or five four. Fable turn right. Taxiway kilo contact ground one one nine or one two. Contact ground Archer nine five four. Perfect. And then we'll just get on the other side of uh, kilo, and then we'll tell them. So three to go. Put in the inbound for straight approach. Landing runway two niner, uh, and uh, expect clearance at five miles. Here we go back to pilot straight in approach for two niner one two three go. Flip flop the frequencies. So we can at least hear if they call them. I don't want to call them just yet. I want to do an after landing checklist. And then we'll call them. One more page. There it is. The very bottom. Oh, okay. 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 Perfect. And light says required. We happen to have to have those on, so we're good. I'm going to take that, so that's it. And then we're just going to tell them, Georgetown ground, Archer 43954, clear of runway 29, would like to go back to pilot's choice. Well, you can say clear of runway 29 at Kilo, like to go back to pilot's choice. Georgetown ground, Archer 43954. Clear of runway 29 at Kilo. Would like to go back to pilot's choice. 954, you taxi pilot's choice with Juliet Alpha Alpha 1, cross runway 18. Juliet Alpha Alpha 1, cross runway 18, 439 or 54. 946, remember, give away the uh, Piper coming off at Kilo. Let's go. All right. Yeah. They're going to give away. We'll give away 246 November. Yeah, they're giving away. Nice thousand RPM set. Yeah, that's it. We can just use the the momentum that we got instead of having to pull the throttle and everything. All right, we are crossing the runway and we're clear on both sides, looking left and right. So then he said Alpha to Alpha 1. All right, so we're just going to take a left here at Alpha. And then we're just, we're really going to go all the way down. We're only going to be on Alpha just to get into Pilot's Choice. So we can just go all the way down. All right. Those feet aren't on the brakes, are they? There you go. Yeah, we can just use momentum. 
There's some grass, it's not someone fixing my whiskey. Yeah, because if we're too fast right now, all we have to do is just pull that throttle back. Absolutely. 716 Mike Whiskey, George on ground. First on ground, that's not 716 Mike Whiskey, is that Dennis is departing east with uh, BFR with Victor. So in this case, all the way down, down and then kind of sneak in at the last minute. 716 Mike Whiskey, runway 290, hit taxi via Juliet, Alpha, a Foxtrot, cross runway 18. Victor runway 29 via Juliet, Alpha, Foxtrot, cross 18. 716 Mike Whiskey. Kind of pull back that power just a little bit. There you go. And we will. Uh, and ground up. Uh, we'll Flight is 998 Julia Bravo. Got an IFR with you to San Antonio. 998 Julia Bravo is cleared to the San Antonio International Airport via radar vectors to Bandia 2 departure. Bandia. And that's filed. Departure maintain 3000. Expect 8000. One zero minutes out to departure. Departure is on 119.0. Squawk four six five seven. Okay, nine nine eight Julia Bravo is cleared. Uh, radar vectors Bandia Bandia two has uh, miles three thousand to eight thousand ten minutes one one nine point zero squawk four six five seven. That's good right here. Nice chase the Bandia two then Bandia. Alrighty, I'm gonna hand Excuse you this for stopping at the checklist. Yes, sir. Free back, correct. Advisor orientation. Yeah, okay. We're up here at uh, Central Tech Avionics. Three minutes. Electric fuel off. Roger. Fuel's an electric fuel Push us back. 